Bluetti EB70? Better don't buy. Let's talk about why. Welcome back to Cursed Mining. So you've seen the Bluetti in my So Your Source Grid Die video, but I noticed that especially in the German channel, the video is getting a lot of clicks from people who are searching for the EB70. That's why I wanted to give it its own video, but especially critical thoughts, because the experiment itself was a success, but after some months of using it, I would not recommend buying the Blue Eddy. Let's talk about why. I will add timestamps for the different points below, and some of them are just small and regarding comfort, but some are more critical. Often criticized, but it still needs to be mentioned. You never know exactly how much power you have left. You just have these fat 20% bars, but with such a small battery, there's a lot in between. So app support that other Bluetti stuff has would help. But here we can quickly mention another point. The EB70 does not support it. On the physical side, I have to mention limitations with the solar inputs. They are advertising 200 watts, which is nice, but those 200 watts are limited to 8 amps. So it's rather difficult to find the right combination of panels that you can really use those 200 watts. Yes, most generators have some sort of limitation, but if so, it should make sense, please. Now I want to talk about something more critical, which I want to compare to other owners. I noticed that my Blue Eddy is also drawing power when nothing is plugged in, but the outputs are activated. So it happened to me that I woke up to a completely empty battery, even though there was nothing drawing power. You cannot tell me that the small LED at the outputs draws this much. This happens no matter if in eco mode or normal mode. When researching on YouTube, I found infos to the eco mode, but there it is the other way around for people. So when eco mode is off, the generator is drawing power for some people in standby. For me, the eco mode was on from the beginning, but it also seems to be drawing power then. Let me know if something similar happens to you. I want to mention that it's not the end of the world if you have this thing already. It still works and you can still use it around the house. I just wish I would have known some of these things before buying it. Hence this video. If it would be a complete emergency battery for me, I would almost say it's a no-go because of its drawing power. You can find even more technical videos on YouTube taking this thing apart. But you know I'm a crypto nerd, so my expertise would not help looking inside these things. But I am a power user for everything that I do use and that's why I still wanted to share my thoughts. The best way for storing power seems to remain the DIY way, but I still find those solar generators interesting, especially because they are portable and very versatile. I'm not giving up my search yet, but I have no new solution in sight for now. Let me know what is your battery solution or your favorite power station. Thank you very much for tuning in, more projects coming, and I got myself and the channels a little upgrades after many years, so things will look a little bit better going forward. We talk about everything tech and crypto. If you're interested in that, please leave us a sub or a like for the algorithm. Thank you very much for tuning in. I hope all of you are doing well. Happy mining and bye.